What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Scooby's Oqua. Early in the AM. KD, Texas. About to get my meditative run in. Five to seven miles, you feel me? And I wanted to share this with y'all because I like to break the interconnectedness in the most fine trace relatable elements and isolated events and those elsewhere. So in this run, instead of just talking about you about running around here, I'm going to talk to you about something that occurs during the run that you might not know. Constant progression. Thyself or one keeping it moving. Facing adversity. You know, because when that air go to running out and the legs go to giving out on you, you got to keep it moving. It's a, it's a certain mentality required to excel up into these miles, I'm telling you, because once upon a time, I only could run half a mile, one mile, two miles. But I stayed. And this this something I always um, tell people. The first two miles be the hardest ones. Like, it feel like it's over with, but you like you about to die, like your lungs about to pop. But if you just keep it moving and don't give up, you just keep running and feel free. And one thing I learned about my runs is the most run I didn't ever ran was 10 miles. I just did that a few months ago. I started running in prison in 2013. And um, I never stopped. But I was limited to a time duration. You know, they got the prison yard called. That shit is no longer than an hour. Um, at least in the prison I was in Georgia. So due to that duration, I wasn't able to get but nine miles. So. I was just recently able to break my record, but I say all that to say, you gotta keep going. And one thing I learned about my body when I run them 10 miles, it ain't even, it's not even my wind or nothing that's the problem at that juncture of fucking nine to 10 miles. It's literally my physical body. Like that's the only thing that stopped me. My wind is not the problem. It be my physical body that ends up obtruding upon the progress. So that's very educational. And these are just a few of the things I come up with doing my meditative run. So I'm about to go and get it popping, right? And um, I'm going to hit y'all with the post meditation. We're going to keep it going, man. Stay healthy, stay wealthy. You too, you too young to be talking about all that old ass shit, you feel me? 31, I might have still getting it, man. Most handsome 31 year old on the planet, if I must say so myself. But we about to get after five. First mile complete. Shit on the nigga the worst way. But. Put that thing in cruise control. We ain't got nothing to prove. We ain't in no rush. Get me. Gang. Run complete. Corny out went out on me, so I can't post a five mile receipt, but I'm stopping it by 11 11. I'm gonna use that as my guide, but definitely got it in. Shit was real, too. I feel like the run was. Challenging me and testing me because I was talking shit like on this video like oh, I'm about to do five miles That shit made sure it was a hard five miles Help, I almost damn threw up But that's what nigga kept it pushing. So here's the meditation, right? All right, let me just try to think about The most later that I came up with Anyway This time I was meditating on My aim was for 5.55 miles and I was thinking about how a lot of times when we make payments, when we do things, we we do it in a predictable cycle of tens or fives. I fuck get some money, fifteen hundred thousand. Fuck do a set of push up, pull ups, or reps, five, ten, fifteen. Nobody never do seven, three, etc. But all that led me into thinking five point five five five, because a lot of people stop at five. But to me, numbers, I like to always tie it back to money. Because I believe life is business. We invest time, energy, resources, um, et cetera, into various different things. So it's like five, five, five. Me getting that extra money, little people know. Them double fives, and once I do it again, I make another mile. So it's that extra change that they keep that extra push and keep my bank account extra higher. Feel me, it's them little centimeters that nobody pay attention to. But I'm grateful for all of them. Every step counted. I would have took one less step. It wouldn't have been my goal desire. So that's one of that's one of the meditations. And um, now let me try to catch that last one. Uh, it was good too. Um, oh yeah, bam, got it. 
the perishable. Now I'm gonna tell y'all how I got to this. On uh, as previously stated, I shared with you guys how I how when I'm running, it don't become a, a matter of respiratory anymore. Or me breathing the air, it just be my physical body. As my legs don't start hurting, as my knees don't start hurting, it don't be me running out of breath. So then I went to thinking, okay, because first thing I hear is air and earth, breath and, and physical. So I'm like, it's, it's, it's running just a air, earth activity. And um, that led me to, well, why the fuck the body giving out for it? Is, is earth perishable? And I was like, oh, the physical is perishable. Because most people say that, but when you really think about it, it's not that the physical earth is perishable. It's the containers. The physical body, that's perishable. But the earth go back to the earth and still be earth and keep continue to be earth. So this led me to containers render energy perishable. Containers render energy perishable. Some room may be perishable. Not quite. But that's just a fact I came up to much y'all think. Four to five mile run to play. I don't know. I stopped at 11 11. I definitely got it in and don't feel it. The bees are quite subscribe, follow me. Y'all already know what's going on. Okay. Y'all come well. Tipping me with that ass and all these irrelevant questions you ask. While you shifting your body and batting your lashes. Don't know which one you